Hi folks, Josh Kahn, tool repair and maintenance man here at the William T. Spader Company in Erie, Pennsylvania. So here in Erie, Pennsylvania, right now is the uh, about the third mon third monsoon season. So with that wind, got my little floof today to provide you with the best quality product that we can. And we're out here in this windy monsoon season to talk about electrical safety because electricity is colorless and odorless and it's invisible and it's dangerous. So we wanna talk a little bit about electrical safety today in hopefully a way that's very fun and enjoyable. Otherwise, if you'd like very boring and slow, we'll get uh, Howard from accounting to come down. I'm just kidding, we don't have a Howard, but we might soon. So we're gonna talk about electrical safety and we're gonna start with a ground fault circuit interrupter. Here's one here. It's got the little pluggy bit on one end and some tags that tell you what not to do in case you don't know. It's got this box in the middle and with some buttons and a regular 110 volt, 15 amp outlets on this end. What it is, is exactly what it says. It's a ground fault circuit interrupter. So if you have a wire in your extension cord that's run across the floor and you're working on a metal floor and somebody drives a forklift over it and there's a ground fault, this will trip and it'll, it's like a switch. It's like an automatic light switch. So if there's a problem with your electrical circuits or the electricity with the ground fault, this will shut off to keep you, the user on the other end safe. Very important. Uh, especially around water or drain cleaning uh, folks always use these a lot of the equipment that we have often comes with these built right into the cord and if it's not built into the cord you should always use one always 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 sometimes in your home they might be built into your uh, your right in your receptacle or your outlet by your sink in your bathroom or maybe in your kitchen always around water Sometimes they can be re built right in the electrical box in your, usually in your basement. We're also going to talk about arc flash. You ever see a spark plug where it's got the little, the little bit and the little, like lightning jumps. Up. That's basically what an arc flash is. If we had someone who was working on some big high powered HVAC equipment and they had to open up some switch gear which is just big industrial switching and the the electricity could arc right across that flash could injure someone working around that equipment so we have arc flash kits and the kit is a protective suit gloves far more uh fancy than these they consist of a rubber liner that's dielectrically tested every six months with a leather outer to protect your hands. There's a hard hat and a specially formulated uh, face shield to protect your face and your eyes, very much like a welding helmet. If you didn't see the welding video, we'll, we'll put it somewhere, at least in the description, but it, it could be anywhere. Uh, it, it will protect your face from that, that arc flash uh, it, they're very bright and they're, they're usually shaded like a welding helmet. Uh, you shouldn't use the two interchangeably, the welding and the arc flash though. We use them here uh, at the William T. Spader Company. If you are a contractor or an electrician or electrician of any sort, you might have one, you might be required to use one and you know all about this. If you're just uh, a, folk, a folks person, person folks watching, now you know a little bit more. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna look at my uh, electrical safety notes that are hidden from public view over here. Uh, we're gonna talk about assured grounding. And assured grounding is kind of cloudy because it's part of an OSHA statement or requirement or standard. OSHA things like that can be very, very difficult to read uh, and understand. So basically what assured grounding is, 
is exactly that. Someone that is considered a competent person, in this case, that would be me. Some might argue, but hey, what that means is a competent person ensures the ground. Uh, and what that means is that I would take an extension cord that's going to go to a, a job site where we're working and I'm going to check the length of it. And I'm going to check to see if there's abrasions in the outer jacket, if there's any exposed wires, where'd it go? There's an exposed wire here. And it's my job or the job of the competent person to find it before it gets to the field or the job site. Oh, bare wire, not acceptable. So once we've ensured that the outer jacket and the insulation system of the cord is acceptable and in good shape, check the ends. Does it have the ground bits all right on there? Does it have both the blades? This one does not have both blades. Absolutely unacceptable. It, and it wouldn't work anyway. Does it have the ground? It does not. This is not acceptable. And it, it is and should be the responsibility of the user before each use to check to make sure that your electrical cords and your equipment is in good it's in good working order that's what i was trying to say so that you or the people around you are always safe and then there's one last thing just one and it's double insulated or double insulation. And what that means is exactly as it sounds, something would be double insulated, like a grinder that one of our steam fitters might use to, to grind down a weld or to make uh, a clean spot to make a new weld or whatever. That grinder might be double insulated and there's a little symbol for that. And it's just two squares inside, one inside of the other, like a television. I shouldn't do this. I should do this. So I hope that helps you. I hope that you learned something. I hope maybe you got a laugh. If not, you know, I could do the bit I like to. Yeah. Um, we love when you come to visit us here on the internet. We would like for you to come back again. You can push buttons there uh, on, right on the internet. Uh, there's a, uh, the big blue thumb. That means that that lets, lets, that lets us know that we're doing something that you enjoy and it is worth your time and ours. Uh, there's a, a, a red button that says subscribe. Now these are, these are, you know, imaginary buttons. They're, they're not physical buttons. They're imaginary. I mean, you can see them in the internet and you can push them. Uh, the subscribe button at any rate is, is you can push it so that you will know when we do something very, very important to your safety uh, or entertainment. Again, there's a bell. The bell does some stuff and I think that it, it will like call you up and it'll ring your telephone bell to let you know that you have to rush to the internet to see that what we've made uh, for you now. So please do come back. I'll try not to be so long winded next time. Have a great day. Take care. Check your cords. 